Hey, hello guys. Welcome you all for this end to end session on AML. So you guys gonna learn everything that you guys need in order to become a successful data scientist. Hope you guys are enjoying. We are enjoying. We are learning a lot each and every day. Uh, believe it or not, like we, we are just uh, like uh, enhancing our knowledge <laughs> each and every day. So hope the same thing for you. So guys, if you guys are not subscribed till now, please subscribe to our channel because like every day we are posting a new video related to the AML, and it is a it is a year long program. So you guys need to have a continuation of each and every session so that you can uh, build on everything on top of it and become a successful data scientist i will say we, you can become a successful in this field of data science okay so hope you guys are enjoying so for the past i think nearly like uh, 10 to 12 sessions it is like a combination of theory coding i love i loved a lot and i have enjoyed a lot so the sessions which we are going to taught is going to be in the same thing which going to be upcoming so guys so without wasting any time let us jump to the today's session which is on a uh, model evaluation matrix for only for a supervised learning we're going to see today okay like for a classification aggression problem as always guys so make sure if you guys are to this video just make sure to this session if you guys are to this session let's make sure you guys watch all the previous session videos so that you guys can have a better understanding of what we are telling or like a simple thing like what we are teaching okay so you guys have a continuation of what we are teaching okay yeah uh, let's move on to today's session without wasting any time model evaluation matrix okay evaluating machine learning model is crucial for understanding their performance uh, different metrics used for classification and regression tasks to access the accuracy precision and other factors i hope like you guys already know what is matrix right uh, whenever we have done with the model we need to find how our model works, how we can find only through the metrics, right? Uh, for the classification, we have used accuracy score. For the regression, we have used R2 score. There are different kinds of accuracy uh, evaluation metrics on there. Uh, let's be gonna discuss purely that today. Okay. So the thing is, um, it's simple. Okay. Um, I will say this evaluation metrics, right? Uh, this is gonna be a very important thing uh, whenever you are thinking of. Um, in order to evaluate our model, this is going to be one thing uh, which is very important. I will say we have a data. We are training our data with a model. What happens if you doesn't know whether your model is working properly or not? Okay, what happened? You doesn't know, right? Uh, okay, my model is working properly with the data or not. How we can find? Only through metrics. After doing certain things like loading the data, pre-processing data, applying the model, and going for something like a, a prediction, everything, a final stage called as evaluation. Okay, that makes your model whether fit for the data or not through the numbers. Okay, everything in max, everything is a number game. Okay, so that is why this evaluation matrix is very, very important. I'm just bringing you a specific thing related to only classification and regression. Okay, guys, hope this session is gonna be like a informative session i'm gonna say okay because like you're gonna take something which is i will say novel okay uh, the thing is you're gonna be very much uh be pay attention so because like uh, this is gonna evaluate your classification regression model, okay hope you guys can understand uh, just what we're gonna see for the today's session okay let us move on to the next slide let's see what we are having okay uh, what are the things that we are having uh, for the classification matrix Common classification metrics includes accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. Accuracy measures overall correct prediction, while precision focuses on only true positive among the uh, predicted positives. Recall highlights true positive among all actual positive. F1 score is a balance of precision and recall. So I, I will just put everything in a simple manner. Classification model, like we have decision tree classifier, uh, we have random forest classifier, logistic regression, and then we are having something called as a support crowd classifier, different thing. Guys, these things we have just learned for the past 15 to 20 sessions. If you guys doesn't know anything, please make sure that you guys watch all our previous session videos so that we can have a better understanding of what we are saying. Okay. So uh, the, the list of four to five models, which I mentioned, these are very, very important and they are belongs to the classification model. So in order to evaluate those models, we need a classification matrix. For that, we are having accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. Let's do it in the simplest manner. Let's break it up. Okay. What is accuracy? Percentage of correctly classified instance. So put in a simple manner. If you doesn't know any kind of metrics to evaluate the classification model, go for accuracy. 
that's it in a general manner just go for accuracy then it will do everything for you okay accuracy so it's a percentage of correctly classified instances okay so you are giving your model a test data how much test data is correctly predicted by your model that's it that is what accuracy general when you doesn't know any kind of metrics go for accuracy then we are having something called as a precision this is a proportion of correctly predicted positive instance among all predicted positive instances precision is only for a positive instance consider we are having a data set of um, hard disease prediction whether the person is going to have a hard disease or not person doesn't have a hard disease is our past two class let us consider so the model is predicting this person doesn't have a hard disease nearly like 100 samples but out of that 100 positive samples only 80 matches with the test data that is actually 80 percent 80 data which is predicted by our model as a positive is a positive in the class in the data that we are having okay that is from the 100 data it has predicted only 80 is the correct value it is predicted by the model this kind of evaluation is called as a precision then let's move on to the record proportion of correctly predicted positive instances among all actual positive instances okay i will put it in a simple manner we're gonna have a entire data set from that how many positive instances are predicted based on the test data that is actual data that we are having that is what record okay f1 score it's an harmonic mean of precision recall balancing their contribution okay precision it has only positive class whereas recall it has a combination of both the classes but it more on positive class only it depends on a positive class only when i combine these two things what happens means it's gonna get a balanced matrix that's what comes the f1 score hope you guys can understand right so the thing is these are the things that is used to measure the uh, classification metric guys if you guys stuck anywhere if you guys doesn't able to understand anything just ping in the comments we are we will take up and we will be uh, solving your doubts because like we are here to help you guys okay that's the thing so moving on um, the thing is I, i'm just mentioning right if you guys doesn't know anything just go for accuracy in a classification problem okay but you guys need to know each and every metrics that are used for the classification okay perfect right uh, let's let's move on to the next slide let's see what we are having in the next slide okay now we are going for a regression matrix okay before going for a letter let us let us let us, uh, let us let's you guys just list down what are the regression model we have seen okay i will give you a minute of time okay hope you guys are like no right uh, i hope you guys have no so please please mention in the comments like what are the what are the different kinds of regression models that we have seen okay I will give an int. Okay. So the thing is, uh, this uh, regression, right? I will I will say a simple thing. It, it is used to predict the continuous value. Now you guys can understand, right? Okay, perfect. Just 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 make sure like you guys able to uh, like recall it. Just put it in the comment section. Okay. Okay. Perfect. The time is over okay yeah the thing is linear regression hope you guys can uh, able to recall multiple linear regression polynomial regression uh decision tree regression uh, random forest regression uh, support vector regression everything we are having regression whenever we are having continuous value that comes under the regression problem let's see what is regression matrix regression matrix access the model's ability to predict continuous values whereas this mean square error and root mean square error measures the average squared difference between the predicted and actual r square indicates how well the model fits the data okay i will say one thing in regression we will not go for more like a accuracy we will always go for how much error or loss that we've got okay like in the mean square error and root mean square error you see model will be predicting one value actually that will be one value how much difference is that that is what the mean square error if I put a root out of it, then it is called as a root mean square error. Okay. I hope most of the regression model works under the uh, loss kind of functions. Okay. You can see mean square error, average of the squared uh, difference between um, predicted and the actual value. That is what the mean square error. 
Whereas root mean square error is this square root of mean square error providing a more interpretable measure of the average error. Okay, then then comes R to R square. If you guys doesn't know anything, just go for R square. Okay, it is a statistical measure that indicates the proportion of variance in the dependent variable that is explained by the independent variable. Okay, I will say it's an accuracy score for the regression problem. That is what R to score. Okay, guys. I hope like I have mentioned, if you guys have any doubt, just mention in the comment section. We are we will take up and we will solve it because like we are here to help you. Okay. So the thing is, if you guys doesn't know what kind of metrics I need to use for a classification, then go for blind, go for accuracy. If you guys doesn't know what kind of metrics I need to go for the regression problem, then go for auto score. Okay. Hope everything is clear, right? Yeah, perfect. So uh, let's see. So is there anything that you want to give as an input for this regression metrics? Yeah, so uh, what we have to do is, guys, we have to understand the regression metrics. So in terms of this, we have to focus on mean square error, M-E-M-S-E, okay, root mean square error, R-M-S-E, and R square. So these are the three components of this regression metrics, guys. So mean square error, M-E-M-S-E is average of the squared differences between predicted and actual whatever is the average of the squared differences so the, the between predicted and actual that is what is mean squared error guys then root mean square error means rmse is the square root of the mse provided more interpretation measures the error uh, measures of the average error so this will do is it will be uh, again uh, uh, like it would be like the square root of the me mse okay so uh, it would be a next evolution kind of thing next step which provides more interpretation to measure of the average error so m r m s e is a it provides more interpretation to measure the average error guys that is the difference between mse and rmse okay and squared error squ r squared is a statistical measure that indicates the portion of variance in the dependent variable that is explained by the independent variables okay that is what is r squared okay so the difference in r squared is that uh, it indicates the portion of variance in dependent variable that is explained by independent variables so that is why it is r squared okay so uh, this is what it is so uh, uh, guys absorb the information digest the information and apply so de uh, deeply understand these concepts because these are going to help you, um, uh, you know, till 2030, AI is going to be a 30 trillion US dollar economy. So these concepts are so crucial, guys. You understand deeply and build your long term vision for your uh, career and have patience, persistency, consistency, perseverance to understand these concepts deeply and uh, absorb the information, digest and apply. So press the bell icon. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channels also. Give us feedback for all these sessions. Absorb them properly and apply them properly. And uh, we are going to help you guys. So we are there to help you. Just write in the comment section. Thanks. Let's move to the other section. Yeah, sure, sir. Let's let's move on because like we have we have done with the classification matrix and regression matrix. I will say these are the basic things. Okay, let's move. On. Okay, confusion matrix. Okay, I will say like yeah, it's a, it's a confusion matrix. Okay, so confusion matrix is a table that summarizes the uh, classification results, visualizing true positive, true negative, false positive, and false negative. It helps understand the model's performance in different characteristics. Okay, so I will say it's a, it's a, it's like a box kind of thing. Where we will be having a true positive. That is, guys, just just make sure what is true positive. Okay, positive samples which is predicted as positive. That is what true positive. Okay, that is 
if a patient is having odd disease or not that's what okay the actual output okay like the patient has the heart disease and your model is also predicting the patient has the odd disease then it is called as true positive okay the model is saying uh, the actual output is the patient has the heart disease but the model is saying the patient doesn't have heart disease that is what called as false positive false negative means it is saying the patient doesn't have a odd disease but your model is predicting the person is having the odd disease whereas true negative means the actual result is no odd disease okay but uh, your model is also predicting the same thing okay i will put it in a simple manner i hope like it is confusing i hope okay these two things that you are right, having right true positive and true negative it is both the things are same actual result and the predicted result both are same okay if it is finding yeah the person have a heart disease the model is also finding the person has a heart disease if the person doesn't have a heart disease is, is in the data set the model is also predicting the person doesn't have a uh, heart disease okay so th this is what this true positive and true negative whereas false positive and false negative is vice versa actual result no heart disease predicted result heart disease actual result heart disease predicted result no heart disease so like that okay so these two things true value i will say it's true whatever actual in the data model is also predicting this diagram vice versa is for this false positive and false negative i hope like i am able to give you some insight about it i hope like sir can explain in a better manner okay yes sir, over to you yeah confusion matrix is it will confuse you first because it, that's why it is confusion matrix guys and there is a confusion and you have to understand okay let's simplify it so confusion matrix is a table that summarizes classification results visualizing true positive that's the component you need to remember then true negative true positive means whatever is actual positive true negative means whatever is actual negative that's what you have to then false positive which is positive but actually it is false like elephant has teeth the teeth you see they are not actual tree teeth right they are the teeth with which he is eating food they are different like the teeth you see those are just uh, that's for self defense they are not the actual teeth if you have seen elephant so the so that's how you can understand what is false positive false positive is the the teeth which are outside in elephant when you see those white color teeth those uh, uh, shooters will kill elephants and sell that those teeth okay uh, they are very expensive guys so they they are just for self defense by nature nature has given so they are also teeth but they are false positive teeth i am giving one example so what is true positive true positive is the actual teeth he has okay so whatever is false but it looks like positive and actually that thing is false like see i'll give example somebody somebody has gone for a checkup for breast cancer okay so some and some somebody has a pain okay let's say and you visit a doctor the well, doctor said um, doctor said okay I'll, I'll see you might have uh, breast cancer okay that statement is false positive and when actually somebody goes through the test they will do all the kind of test and then test will reveal the true positive whether somebody has breast cancer or not then the statement which is false positive will become true positive and there the confusion arises guys 
so okay then what is false negative one is something is false is also negative that is false negative okay so in uh, true negative is something is true but is negative okay something is true is positive and then there is a permutation combination will go and because of that the con confusion will arise okay so then it helps to these things help to understand the models performance in different categories so then there are principles okay true positive tp false positive fp like they have given this so this is how uh, uh, like true positive false positive so it would be like we'll do a classification okay so if if it is true positive false positive this is zero that is one this is zero that is one then what would be the whether it would be true positive or not or false positive or not this is how we'll generalize the model will generalize okay so but the basic axiom the basic premise remains same so you have to understand the fundamental principle of confusion matrix you will not be confused okay it means whatever is true it should give the true if something is false it should give the result as false that's it something is false negative should give output as false negative it should not give true true positive so that is the thing so model should learn whatever is as it is the data whatever is the true data whatever is the actual data as it is it should predict that 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 would be the performance of the model actually okay so it should not get confused in confusion matrix okay so that is how that will happen when you have the right problem statement according to that you have the right uh, data set you characteristics of the data set and then you have you clean it pre-processes do eda you do ensemble learning you do everything in a right manner so you'll have a good performance okay let's move to the other and also guys we have a lot of quizzes around 100 quizzes on our on our channel so go and uh, solve those questions quizzes so that you will understand deeply all the questions related to sql related to data science ml okay and uh, every day there are around 20 quizzes so go and solve those and that will help you also to uh, go deepen and deepen your knowledge and go to a meta level okay let's move to the other section yeah sure sir so yeah actually like it's a great explanation sir as i explained this confusion matrix without making confusion like he is able to explain it with the proper example like actually like it's great okay so yeah this is what all about today's session that we are having so we have introduced you what is evaluation matrix why we need it and we have gone through the evaluation matrix of classification regression now this confusion matrix okay hope you guys have really enjoyed the session as sir is mentioning uh, lastly like we are having quizzes guys so I will say one thing, whenever you start to attend, attempt something, okay, then you will start to learn. Okay. Uh, one thing is very uh, uh, basic thing. If you guys don't have any doubt, then you guys doesn't learning anything. That's, that's, that's the only thing for me. So if you guys start to learn something, then you guys gonna definitely gonna uh, get some doubts and we are here to solve those doubts. Okay. So start to learn guys. So we are here just to, just to guide you guys. Okay. Uh, we are always here and we are happy to do that. Okay. If you guys stuck anywhere, just ping in the comments, we will take up and we will solve your doubts. Yeah. And as sir has mentioned, please go through the quizzes and try to attend the quizzes. Okay. So yeah, guys, that's all for today's session. Make sure like you guys um, enjoy this session. And if you guys have any doubt, just reach out to us. We are here to help you. So yeah, guys, uh, that's all about today's session. We will meet in the next session. Until ne next session, take care, guys. Bye. And we will all meet in the next session. Bye, guys. Take care. Yeah, guys, attend all the quizzes. There will be every day 20 quizzes uh, live. 
So go and attend all the quizzes, deepen your knowledge, and uh, and uh, do all the assignment, do all the projects. Keep learning deeply, guys. We are there to help you. Thanks a lot.